What's good guys, it's your boy CG And we are back with episode 5 And this is the recap This is gonna go over just, you know, everything that's happened since I got the red camera And first and foremost, like, I wanna thank everybody who has supported me I didn't expect to get the type of response that I did from the red community uh, I didn't know whether this was something that people wanted or not and it seems so far from what I, my experience has been to be all positive feedback. This means everything for me. You know, I just didn't know what the response was. And I think after a few episodes, I got a little bit calmer just because of all the positive feedback that I got. And that feedback has kind of grown and led me down an amazing path. By the way, I'm going to be mentioning a lot of names. None of this stuff is sponsored. I'm, I mean, look at my subscriber account, which we're going to talk about. Nobody's really going to sponsor me at this point. I wish they would because it would help the channel grow. But either way, I'm just going to keep producing content in the first place. But first, I posted in redusers.net and I got a lot of good feedback from that. A particular member reached out beyond the red user website sent me an email saying good job and that person was Jared Land and kind of caught me off guard because I was like I don't know what to expect I'm kind of confused I'm thankful appreciative all that and he was like yeah that's exactly what I thought that when I seen your operation I was like okay cool and I'm hoping to connect a little bit more with the with the company I don't know exactly how that's gonna go but that doesn't stop me I want to be more involved with the company to go beyond just the the DSMC one body and get into the DSMC two bodies and become like a certified red repair center that would be amazing but I mean for the time being I have my niche right now and that's working for me I wish I could get more involved with the company that would just help out when I'm presenting information to you guys on the other side of that because I'm still trying to figure out my way of presenting this to them to make them feel like okay let's help him i've moved on to other things i also posted in a group called red camera on facebook uh, i get a lot of good feedback from there um right now i kind of have an, a surprise episode coming up i'll tell you later on in this what what's what happened um but it, it this next episode uh if it goes the way that i'm trying to do it uh it's going to be involving uh a collaborative effort with someone else it's gonna be a fun episode if everything goes as planned it's gonna be amazing the feedback that I get from you guys it helps me to produce more episodes if there's certain things that you want to see let me know and I'll try to make that happen I don't know how to thank you guys like thank you for real my Instagram has been going crazy with people just DMing me uh, about hey I've just you know start working on my camera and your videos really help me and I'm like that's crazy because it's not one of those things that you really want to get into and, and I think that I'm kind of in a a particular like the way it's just the way that you get this camera you know what I mean like if you spent thousands of dollars for this camera I will feel like Ugh, I don't want to touch that because if you mess it up you've lost a lot of money me I didn't spend that much money it's still a lot of money but it's not gonna make me wish I would have bought a car instead of a camera I don't want to discourage you guys if you are not comfortable with electronics and you're just trying to follow a tutorial like you follow a cooking guide I'm showing you that it can be done and what I do but there's also a lot of thought process behind everything that I do it's step by step but I'm just showing you that this camera can be repaired seek my advice like one-on-one -on -one. how I think when I'm doing this may not be the way that it relates to you and, and if, if you're seeing it and it's like all oh, this stuff makes sense great and you're comfortable with doing it great everything that you've seen was in my discovery phase now I'm in the I've discovered and now it's just the elevation stage getting into the dragon sensors the DSMC two bodies that's where I'm at right now that elevation comes at a price if I can get more bodies and and just explain more because I have a lot of curiosity on the dragon because like so the Mysterium on a Scarlet is capable of going to 5K, but the actual shooting resolution is 4K. But if you go to a Dragon sensor, then you're able to go to 5K. I'm trying to like wrap my mind around what's the deal. Did they put a chip in that had more RAM from the Scarlet and then just watered it down? Because from what I'm seeing, if it, I have a theory. <laughs> I don't know if I should call it a theory, but this is how I'm thinking of this situation with Red not fixing these cameras. And I am not trying to put Red down, but this is my curiosity of the situation. 
How can you not repair the Mysterium, but you can repair the dragon, which has the same body? I can understand if you say, hey, we can't repair the sensor, but we can repair the Epic X body and the Epic X, the Scarlet X body. So if you have a sensor issue, then cool, I get it. We don't have any more, we're not doing that sensor anymore, but to say that you can't repair it at all, and then, but you can repair it if it has a dragon sensor on it. And I understand it's a phasing out of things, but from the from everything that I've seen on the, the MX sensor, is just everybody loves this sensor and a lot of people want to keep going with it, but obviously Red wants to bring that to newer things. I would love to help, I guess, continue that path and have this here and, you know, elevate a little bit more towards you know, a DSMC 2 camera. The thing is, it's just like, I don't understand, but either way, cool. It puts me in a position to where I'm able to help the community uh, at this time where they're trying to phase the things out and the company can continue to grow as a company and I can start to grow my own company off of their leftovers, <laughs> I mean, honestly. That's kind of my thought process on that. So this is gonna start getting cool. Like, I, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I started out in audio, I've been doing audio for like 17 years. Obviously I have a studio behind me. I've been doing this for a long time. I switched doing video professionally in 2018. I started my business as like a recording engineer, producer. I joined the military and I went to England. It was so easy just to get a grasp on the community around there. And you know, that's where everything began with me. If you go back into my older videos, all those videos that are of me building my studio, that was when I was in England. Starting a business and understanding how to uh, reach people and then I worked at that for a long time. Probably a couple years ago, I got burnt out with the local scene. And so my thing was, I just wanna be more corporate because I want to do projects that have a budget. I don't wanna negotiate prices. I'd rather have companies say, hey, here's our budget. Can we you know, hire your company to do this? With me out here doing the local scene, it's, it, I feel like it's more of a hand-to-hand -hand thing and I wanna be more a little bit above that. It makes my money stable, uh, if that makes any sense. With that, I, I kinda reached out to a company called Audimute and uh, I start talking to them, I pitched them an idea and I still have to fulfill that idea. Video took over because I'm also going to full sale for digital cinematography. Even though it's full sale is like an advanced college, I'm passing the advancement of the college, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm shooting a movie right now with, oh, ooh, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing a little bit later. Uh, this thing is building big. I start reaching out to these corporations on the level that I can be an asset to that company. What's happened now with the red cameras, well, you know, I'm not the only person with a DSMC one camera and other people would like to have their cameras repaired as well. That struck of an idea of who needs this the most? What do people do when they can't afford to buy this camera? Rental companies. I started searching rental companies that provided a DSMC one camera. I just shot them all in an email. None of them got back to me. I did get to one company. I didn't actually present it to the company at first, but the way that their rental system is set up, structure is uh, that individuals like myself can rent cameras, sharegrid.com. A lot of things happened in one night. Towards the end of the day, it was nighttime. I had my, my message drafted up. Basically all I wanted to do was like create awareness that hey, there's somebody out here that can fix your camera. I sent this out to like over 50 people. Uh, I started getting feedback right away. Thank you, wow, didn't know this was out there. Glad you messaged. I did this to the LA crowd. I was getting ready to gear up for the Atlanta crowd. Hey, I stayed up real late, like sending out those messages. And I wasn't trying to spam people. My channel isn't hasn't grown and matured enough to where people know that, hey, this guy's out there. It's getting there, but it's just coming up. And, and I don't have any sponsors behind me. And I have to do this on top of school, on top of actually shoot, like, I've got so much stuff going on, which is why now I can create so much content. I got a message back. You know, it was another message from a ShareGrid member. The message was like, 
don't spam share grid members it's something about getting reported and all that stuff i'm thinking to myself i'm just telling you like i exist i'm you don't have to do anything but at the same time wouldn't it be beneficial for you to know somebody who fixes your camera that doesn't get repaired by the company anymore you guys tell me what you think i mean would you want to know that somebody is there to fix your camera that being on share grid and you have to have insurance for your stuff you don't have to pay a higher premium because you're going to have to replace that camera instead of getting it repaired for a lower price i'm just saying like it just all seemed to make sense to me but to that one person it didn't so that situation kind of put me in a panic because I was like, well, this is like the biggest market that I've found that like reached the most people that this would mean the most to, if that makes sense. So I called the company. I, I told them about the message and then uh, realized quickly that they could see all my messages in the first place. But out of 50, 60 something people, I only got one negative person. So the company's like, no, bad, don't do that. You can only talk about renting their gear, no. <laughs> So, a couple hours later, they messaged back and were like, but you're getting a lot of good feedback off of this, so that's great. <laughs> so I called them back again and I was like, trying to partner with them and they was like, nah, there's like no way for us to partner with you. If we open up that gate, we have to do it for everyone. I understand that. Also understand that this is not just somebody saying that, hey, I can shoot videos. This is somebody telling you that, hey, this is gonna be beneficial for everybody involved, including you, the company. I'm pretty sure that that's something that companies, I would be interested in if it was something that was gonna benefit the members of my company. Benefits the insurance company is like the good feedback from the, the the community that I sent those messages out to just kept coming in. They could see all my messages. I've only had one person like pop up with some negative. I thanked that person. You know why? That person had never stopped me, right? If that person had never said I was gonna get reported, I would have never called the company. I would have kept putting out the message. I would have possibly been banned from that site and not be able to use that platform at all. It could have been going about a different way. Like, be careful instead of don't do this. It, it broke my mind. It, it I couldn't understand. Like, I'm a very like logical and literal person saying that don't send out the message that you can fix our cameras. And if they break, we're screwed. It just didn't make sense to me. And I couldn't understand it. In my mind, I was like, you know what? I can't lose this spot because this is where everyone is. So on that second call, they were like, what you can do is put on your profile that you do this. That's what I did, ineffective. I don't know how anybody would find me. I don't even have anything on there to rent, so I don't know how anybody would find that. There's another part to that, but there's something that came before that. So what I done when they told me no, that we couldn't partner, what I done was then I just start looking through their pages. What I came up on was there's only, there, if you go to their contacts or like their information or support or whatever, there's only two things to talk about, share grid itself, but then obviously you're renting out gear and your members need insurance. So they are partnered with Athos. So my mind was like, well, I can't talk to you. <laughs> Let me talk to the insurance company. Every time I've done an insurance claim or anything, if it can be repaired, they take it to someone who can repair it. Athos is like really good because you get to choose whether you want it repaired or new again. But obviously, if you choose to have it new again, then you're gonna have to pay that premium. And also, you gotta pay that premium for the entire year up front, and it ain't cheap. They're actually putting me in touch with, I think, the president of that company as well, or whoever was in charge over there. That person called me back, and we started talking. They gave that contact information to their their larger part or the operational part, I guess, of the, of the company. So now, I'm a contact for them. And the deal that I made was if it can't be repaired and it's not traded into red, then I get to buy the camera body. Therefore, giving me parts and I'm guaranteeing you, if it's not the ISP on there, I'm gonna fix that camera. And even if it is the ISP, every ISP is not gonna have the same problem. So more than likely, I'm gonna be able to fix it. I'm getting more and more fine tuned with my skills and I'm telling you, like even the Epic that I have now, I just, I need other things. And, and like I said before, like I need other stuff, but my determination to, to keep the growth and technical knowledge and keep advancing in that, I'm gonna get that one fixed eventually. But then I kept getting good feedback from ShareGrid. So I called ShareGrid, I'm like, what can we do? People are wanting this. I know you see these messages. What are we doing? I don't want people to feel like I'm forcing it down their throat, cause I'm not. I just want information to be out there to say that, hey, this is available. How can we do that? I was like, do you guys even have like a form or anything? And then she was like, let me get back to you and we'll try to figure everything out. Well, she ended up calling me back. Boom. She told me that uh, if I wrote a blog on my website, 
then sent her the link. They would put it in their newsletter, which goes out to everybody. So I got the biggest win from that. I got the biggest win when I thought I was taking like the biggest loss because it was like, I got this whole community here that I can't even tap into. And the thing is, I wasn't sending messages out to everybody. If you didn't own that camera, I didn't send you that message. But now, being that it's a newsletter, everyone who subscribed to that newsletter is now going to know. So whether you have that camera or not, you're now getting that message. <sighs> Big wins. That just made my whole day. Also, from that whole thing, that's not just the only portion of that. I found another another camera that was broken on eBay owned by Adorama. The situation with that, uh, like, I was like, you know what? They got a broken camera. I could fix that camera. But I was like, I don't have the money to be buying that right now. So I called them. I mean, they gave me a, a specific contact to call. So my deal with them was like, I seen that they had the uh, the Dragon sensor. Obviously, Curiosity's there. It's a, it's a newer sensor. Um, how about this? I'll trade you my Scarlet and I'll repair the Scarlet that you guys have. And that way, it's like trading two Scarlets for that one dragon censored epic. No deal. He was like, I don't have any kind of package for that. At that point, I didn't know where to go because that's all I got. That's all I could offer you, right? Gave me a cool little price reduction. At that time, it wasn't feasible. I tried and I was about to hang up. He was like, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. We would rather have the camera working. What I'm saying is that hey, I don't have any way of making a trade for service type of deal. How about this? I'll pass your contact information over to our repair portion of the company. And how about we send it to you and pay you to fix our Scarlet instead? And I was like, well, that sounds good too i sent them all the contact information he said he sent it off and everything so i'm a dp for this film that I'm sh i started shooting over the weekend if this clip isn't in there i couldn't make things work i had an issue with my hard drive where i couldn't even dump the information off of the shoot onto the hard drive to make this yet right now if you look behind me i have the lacy or lace i don't know how you it's it's transferring files over from my corrupted glyph drive i couldn't put that scene that i shot together uh, if it does end up in this video, then that means that, you know, I did get it together. But if it's not in there, then just know that I wanted to show you guys. And I started shooting this film over the weekend, made myself some money with my red, you know what I'm saying? And then I call Adorama back up. Can we still get that deal? There's like my big surprise. I have another Scarlet that's coming. There's so much irony. This is going to be a very entertaining episode. You're going to see some technical stuff, but this particular camera, there's a story behind it. I'm trying to get the person who owned that camera back. He has a lot of flashback footage of, I cannot spoil this for you guys. You have to watch episode six. I didn't even know there was gonna be an episode six. If this goes off how I'm seeing it, oh my God, you're gonna die laughing, you're gonna learn a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be epic, no puns intended. It's a Scarlet. Stay tuned for that. So what's next after that? Yeah, I've been shooting this red series. This has been fun. I'm at the point where I have to use the things around me. This is real life. I'm financially conscious, but even though I could probably afford to do it, like I wouldn't just do it to create content that I'm not making money from yet or monetizing yet. It just doesn't make sense. So it just, for me, it's just to go slower, use what I have. And that's something that I learned from audio that just use what you got and make that work until you can go to the next steps. My next step is, uh, is I'm gonna have a series called Atomost Everything. This is a company that create these amazing monitors that record externally, which I'm recording on right now. So I'm recording on my Atomost Shogun because I don't have the, the SSD cards because they're expensive as hell. And I'd rather buy more storage for my computer at the same price, 16 terabytes. I don't wanna give too much away just because I like to be the first doing things right now. Like I, I'm, there's things that I've never seen before that is gonna happen with this and hopefully the, the title Atomos Everything explains what's about to happen right now. Things that people wouldn't think of as being thought of because that's what I have. I also have another series that I want to create is business tips because I've been groomed into an entrepreneur since I was like two. My dad was, uh, he still is a carpenter. He's had his own business and for most of his life, that's all I've known is for him to work for himself. I, there's very few times in life where I've known that he's worked at a job. I've created this business over and over in different countries and different places I could have failed every time but because of my thought process and how I think 
is the reasons that I didn't fail. That's why the series is gonna be called The Progressive Mind and it's gonna be business tips. Other thing, looking at the title of this video, I'm trying to really grow my channel. I'm willing to go the distance to do that, including to give you guys great content. Last time I checked, I have 216 subscribers. Nowhere near the point of monetization. My deal with you guys is if you share, subscribe, comments, positive comments. I said getting that Scarlet was gonna be the, the special thing, but what I mean by like, I'm willing to go the distance to get my channel to a monetized channel. What I need is 5,000 subscribers in return. This is my promise to all my subscribers, all my new people coming, all my viewers. I wanna give someone an opportunity like I had. I wanted a red camera for years. I just so happened to stumble upon this. What I want to do is to help someone who is creative and can actually use stepping up to a red camera. I want to help them out. When I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to start a contest. The winner of that contest is going to get a red camera. By that time, it could be a DSMC one or it could be a DSMC two. We don't know. I am willing to give away a red camera once I hit that point. You will have to earn it. Just like I feel like I had to earn the right to sit in front of this lens right now. Once we get to that point, I'll make a whole new video. But this is that's this is my. My thing, my pack with you guys, my viewers, my subs my, uh, my subscribers, my supporters, that's gonna be my deal, is that I will give away a red camera working to once I get to 5,000 subscribers. I don't think that's a lot to ask for what you're getting. That means help me help you and help others. I'm, I'm all about giving uh, opportunity to other people when I have the ability to do that. My, I guess, Thing in life is just success i want i would love to help someone else be successful like I, that that would that means more than having things here red camera now i want you to go take this to the next level because me having this camera has changed my life i've been able to do things that i never thought possible from a business standpoint i would like to give that type of opportunity to someone else i'm gonna tell you somebody that i really like i really enjoy his content mr beast that dude gives away so much i feel like that's amazing i want to be like that i want my youtube channel to be like that where i can help others that's everything that I have. You guys tune in for episode six next week. Yeah, I don't know what the name of that's going to be yet. My next episode will be probably the most popular episode out of all the ones that I have because of the story behind it and people love story. It's going to be fun. Stay tuned next week. The next Scarlet is coming. This is your boy CG and I'm out.